morning, Lake Fork. Water temperature is about 46 degrees. It's uh, this last weekend of February, just about. And we're going to fish the Bass Champs tournament. So, strange deal for those of you who don't know Fork. It's a slot lake. So, uh, under 16 or over 24, you can have one over 24. So there's every cent, every chance you're going to see us not a five or six pounder today and go up oh, can't keep it So this is a tournament where you've got to get a little bit lucky So you got to catch some fish, but you got to be a little lucky. So that's what we're gonna to try to do in seven minutes Stick around. All right. Well, that's uh, that's four past champs Good gosh um, We fished a full day and we fish from five feet to 35 feet. And uh, I caught this one little old fish right here. And this was actually pretty early. This ain't no bait down through here. There he is. Oh, I think it's too big. Too big, he says. <laughs> I think. Grab that hook right there, Terry. Too big, he says. Oh, this is going to be painful. That's a solid uh, Lake Fork non keeper. What's that fish like? Three and three quarter? God. That is hard to deal with. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> but it's frustrating when you got to turn a four pound or three and a half, four pound fish loose. I had, uh, and you know, it changes how you fish, right? I, I really wanted to crank today, but to get out there and throw a 500 DD, uh, you, you're going to catch four and five pound fish, and that's non keepers here. So we basically spent most of the day with me pulling an A rig around and drop shot. And uh, Terry said that he's pretty sure he had a brim swim into his line. And uh, I had one bite the back end off a of worm. And that was our day. Uh, it's very frustrating because we really felt like we had a chance to do well in this division this year and uh, not going to the first play and that takes care of any chances of doing an angler of the year or anything else you might want to do. And water temperature is 44.9 degrees. It's just uh, that deep freeze comes these fish in the head and I'm sure somebody called them but we talked to six or seven different tournament boats today. And uh, at that, every, nobody had out a bite when we talked to him. Now we saw a guy catch about an eight inch or a minute ago and he put it in live well, so maybe a 12 inch. So it was tough. Somebody will have caught him, but uh, pork was really, really, really stingy. I know you guys don't tune in to watch me not catch him, but uh, that's what happened. I don't know what else to say. We fished hard all day. We fished from seven exactly to three exactly and uh brutal yeah. terry has nothing to add i'm pretty sure because uh it was just oh well what are you gonna do we'll uh we'll load up and go again and uh hopefully we'll figure them out next time so all right guys so a lot of ground to cover even though i didn't catch any fish uh, so you know, it actually helped when we got home to talk to a couple of guys out of, there were 360-ish teams, I think, 350. So you figure 650, 700 guys fishing, there were like 130-something fish caught. There were maybe five or six limits. The winners had one fish, they had an over. <laughs> um, it took two, I want to say two pounds, 2.37 pounds to get paid to get a check. So it was brutal tough. And so I feel a little bit better. I did have a buddy who caught a limit and 
doing something silly and I'm not going to talk about it because they weren't my fish but uh, you know sometimes it helps to to realize you know how's the old saying go misery loves company and and it was uh it was a miserable day and you know it was a miserable practice because you don't get enough bites in practice to figure things out we've talked about that a lot at Rayburn you see so many guys come to Rayburn from out of state and get on fish and and the best example of that is there was a Costa championship I qualified for several years ago at uh the, at Kentucky Lake and my, uh, uh Albert Collins and I roomed together and then we had some other guys from Texas right there together too. And through two or three days of practice, as a group, we had like nine bites. And when you go to those lakes like that where you can't get enough bites to figure anything out, you're at such a disadvantage to the locals versus Rayburn where you can come in from nowhere and catch, you know, on a bad day, eight or 10 fish, and on a good day, 20 or 30 fish and figure something out. So um, that's what happened here. You know, I haven't been really spending any time on fork in over 20 years as we kind of talk throughout the day. And Terry doesn't spend a lot of time over there. He lives on Richmond Chambers and spends most of his time on Chambers or Cedar Creek. So, uh, just a brutal day for us. And so we licked our wounds and, and we're back at it. Um, couple of notes I want to bring up before we get to the spark drawing. By the way, Waterland, for those of you who wear prescription glasses. Waterland now has prescription sunglasses. They're only about 400 bucks. You can use the Ken 10 code and get 10% off, which brings them to about 400 bucks. I just got a pair. Absolutely love them. It's actually the clearest I've ever seen through a pair of sunglasses. And I, I would not say that if that were not the God's honest truth. Uh, my last pair of uh, prescription sunglasses were Costas and these are lighter and I can see better out of them than I could out of those coasters. So take that for what you want. But if you want a good pair of uh, prescription sunglasses, I highly recommend it. By the way, they make them in three different or two different lens colors. And I believe there's four or five different frames. This is that Millican frame. You know, I got the Haskett and the Millican frame both. And I like the Millican because the, the temple's just a little bit wider. So that's the frame I settled on. When I, when I got me a pair of prescription glasses. And I'll still wear contacts some on a fish, but it's so handy to have those when you get a contact go bad or on those days you just don't want to wear contacts when you fish. So Waterland, prescription sunglasses, waterlandco.com. There'll be a link below if you want to check those out. Um, by the way, uh, a Beyondy one. So the team who finished, oh, I got to look this up. Bear with me. So the team who won sixth place at Fork was the team of, Byron Biondi and Jason Greenfeld. And if the Biondi name is familiar to you, either his, Chad told me it was either his brother or his cousin won the, uh, won the spark money at the first tournament down on the South Division, which I believe was on Amstead or Falcon. It was on Falcon. So that family's figured it out. They've joined Spark and they've now won $4,000 of spark money. By the way, that team, so fifth place won 3500 Sixth place won 9500 because they won Spark money and they also won James Woods money. That's guys who are being smart about where they're buying their products and supporting our industry. So that's, uh, that's wicked cool. Uh, also, I want to mention to you guys, remember I talked about when I got back from Travis that a gentleman that uh, was, uh, Kenny was fishing with a young man because his dad was in Afghanistan. Was in, uh, Afghanistan. And so let me share with you. So I had told you guys that, uh, I don't want to mess it up because I messed this title up the first time. Master Sergeant Jeffrey Hunter was the dad of the young man that was fishing with Kenny. If you remember the story, Kenny was fishing with the, the son who was like, I think 12 years old, so that the dad and the son could qualify for the Bass Champs Championship when the dad got back off of deployment. So I said, man, send me a picture. So here's a picture of these guys and I want to tell you who we've got here. So this is their team. They are a Air Force team, and they're basically uh, weathermen, if you will. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if they are meteorologists or not, and I, so forgive me if you guys are. I know that's a big slight if you're meteorologists, and, and I don't tell you say that you are. But they're over there in support of, of a helicopter squadron of Army guys, and I hope I got that right. I guess it's a unit, forgive me. Uh, but a unit over there, and they do forecast for those guys so they can fly their missions in Afghanistan, which I think is really cool. So in this photo, from left to right, 
in front of a Black Hawk helicopter is Captain Richard Anderson, Master Sergeant Jeffrey Hunter, Staff Sergeant Miles Davis, and Second Lieutenant Jordan Worth, and then there's one more gentleman, Senior Airman Trayvon Kane, who didn't make this particular picture, but I thought that was wicked cool. And then the second picture is uh, uh, Staff Sergeant, excuse me, Master Sergeant Jeffrey Hunter, and uh, another guy, who is this? Help me, forgive me guys. Uh, Lieutenant Worth in the back of a Black Hawk. He said they had been at a Ford operating base and collected some gear and they were flying home. So I thought that was cool. And they're either home or they're almost home. So I'm excited. I hope I'm going to try to fish another Central Division. I'd love to get to meet Jeffrey and, and thank him personally for his service and his whole team for their service over there. Uh, guys, it's just awesome and we appreciate all You'll see in the comments below. All my viewers appreciate the work you guys put in protecting us and other people around the world. So that's wicked cool. And thank you, Jeffrey, for that photograph or those photographs. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to cover today. So let's do the spark drawing. So you can see this spark, whoops, this spark drawing is for everybody. So remember, and I'm gonna, I've got a video coming for you guys talking about spark a little bit more, but uh, all you got to do is go to spark bass and you can sign up there to change your electricity and qualify. Uh, the next Bass Champ tournament is uh, the next Bass Champ tournament is this weekend. It's on Lake Belton. It's a central region. It's number two. As I recall, nobody won the Spark Money in the first tournament. So the highest finishing Spark customer at that tournament is going to win four grand. And then don't forget, next week there's back to back on the 13th and 14th. I think if I can remember my dates right, there's back to back Bass Champs because one got postponed over weather on a Saturday and a Sunday. So there's six grand up for grabs there. There'll be four grand up for grabs Saturday. If nobody wins it, it'll be six Sunday. And even if somebody wins it Saturday, it'll be 2,000 Sunday for a top, the highest finishing top 10 Spark customer. So if you haven't signed up for Spark service, jump over to Spark Bass, excuse me, sparkfishing.com and you can sign up there or you can call in. Just make sure you tell them if you do that you want to use the Spark Bass promo code so they'll know who you are. This drawing is for everybody. There's a bunch of out-of-state guys in here. Anybody who can't sign up, they may be in a contract, you may live in a co-op, you may live out of the state, you can still sign up for the end of month drawing. And even though this is the first week of March, this is really the end of February drawing. So we're gonna draw a name out of here. I'm gonna go way down to the bottom, nothing in my hands, way to the bottom, and we're gonna give $250 to Brad Hughes, our first out-of-state winner, Brad. He is from Prairie View. Louisiana. I know you can't see that on there, but anyway, Brad Hughes, don't throw an envelope from Spark away because it's going to have a $250 gift certificate. I'll reach out to Brad tomorrow and let him know he won. Congratulations. That's our first non-Texas winner. Again, you don't have to be in Texas to win that. By the way, several people have entered multiple times. Once you enter once, we're only putting one coat, one coupon or one ticket for each person in the bowl. So there's no reason, and once you register, if you register the first week, you're still in this bowl. You don't have to register every week. So just register once and you're in the drawing. And then next week we'll do a drawing back just specifically on Spark customers. So I think that's everything. That is everything. So thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna go blind squirrel this weekend. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna fish back to back BFLs Saturday and Sunday without having been on the water in over a month. And, you know, I know the fish are biting and some of it's just stumbling up on a big school of fish, but I think generally speaking, I do pretty well down there. Or I, I, I am very optimistic when I fish this way because I don't lock up on a group of fish and draw out boat 220 and roll up and there's five guys already sitting there. I'm just gonna go fishing. And I'm going to do it two days in a row, and then I'm going to fish those two Bass Champs tournaments the next weekend. I figure I'm already there practicing. I might as well go try to catch a big fish or two and try to win a little bit of money in a, in a BFL tournament. So hopefully get to draw out with a couple of you guys in that tournament, in those tournaments. Uh, and then uh, we'll be back down for Bass Champs the next week. Uh, Thursday of this week, we will post the first of the Ballistic Review. I think you're going to enjoy that review. We'll post part two and part three. Probably next week, part two for sure next week, and probably part three next week too. That leaves us with finishing up the Vexus and doing the Nitro, and we're going to figure out what boat we want. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for all you guys do to support the channel. Shopping at Tackle Warehouse using my link. 
uh, shopping, uh, shopping six cents, shopping water, I'm using the code Ken10. If you do shop Tackle Warehouse, the way you support me is there's a link below. If you click on it, they know when you click on that link and shop that that whole shopping trip was a result of you watching Ken Smith Fishing or that you support Ken Smith Fishing, and I appreciate that so much. So that link is down in the description on YouTube if you haven't seen that before. And if you would, just bookmark it on your computer so when you go Tackle Warehouse shopping, they know you're supporting Ken Smith Fishing. So thanks for tuning in. I will see a bunch of you guys, I suspect, this weekend on Rayburn, uh, and then again the next weekend on Rayburn once again. Thanks, guys. <music>